that lighting any better? Still hitting me from the side. I don't want to have to turn the big light on, but I think I have to. I guess overhead light's better than nothing. For today's video, I wanted to sit down and have a chat with y'all and work on some DIY crafts for Bonnaroo. So I guess a, a crafting chat, if you will. So we're just gonna jump right into this video. Each person in our Bonnaroo group was assigned a theme and I got mermaid. So we're making all things shells and pearls and mermaidy things. And I'm also making a mermaid skirt that I'll probably include some clips of at the end of this video. So in this video, I wanna focus a little bit on the wasteful aspects of DIYing and of being an artist. So there's a lot of things that are very wasteful and the amount of art supplies I have, most people would look at and not think as minimalism. But some of y'all know that I do follow minimalist principles. I think I would call myself a minimalist, but due to just the amount of art stuff I have alone, I think some people would think I'm not a minimalist. While on the one hand I feel like I bought way more than I needed to, we have a fairly large group and I'll be giving all of this away. I'm only going to make a few pieces for myself and keep them just for when I'm doing festivals or costume shoots where I'm dressing as a mermaid. Okay, I'm gonna keep it super simple with some of the necklaces just because I have no idea what other people are doing for this theme. I think there was more than just me assigned to this theme, although I don't quite remember, I'd have to double check. But I'm gonna make a bunch of necklaces like that. I'm going to take these shells and glue hair clips to them, probably like this, so you can clip seashells into your hair. I'm also gonna glue little hair clips to these Starfish. I was drawing the blank there. Um, and then I might make some pearl bracelets. I think that would be really cute. This thing is just like a little, I don't know. I'm just gonna attach it to my belt and wear it on my side. It's not about the amount of stuff you own. Even though one of my hobbies requires me to have a lot of stuff, that can still fall under your minimalist life. become conflicted about crafting and making your own stuff. Whether that be jewelry, clothing, hair pieces, pretty much anything. Because making things yourself is usually looked at as a good option. And the amount of waste, the amount of packaging that crafting supplies come in is tremendous. And I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what the solution is. I don't know if there is a solution. Comment down below if there is low waste crafting supplies or something of the sort. But from what I see right now, it feels wrong to me to be making all of this stuff ocean themed and mermaid themed and yet it came in all of this packaging, in all of this plastic that's gonna go straight to harming the exact things that I'm putting on display here. Generally, people think that if you're making something yourself, it's more ethical because it's ethically made. It's made by you. You can source your materials. But what about crafting supplies? What do you do to create costumes mostly? Because I do make a lot of my own costumes. What do you do when the supplies you need to make amazing costumes are wasteful? I got the hemp string to make my jewelry with, with, but even this was wrapped in plastic. And no, nobody needs elaborate costumes. It's not a need, but it is one of my hobbies, and it does make me 
super happy to spend so much time designing and making a costume than to be able to go and show it off at a music festival or at the Renaissance Festival. Uh oh, how's this rope? Oh, it does, it just barely fits through the hole. Perfect, because I bought the little clips so you don't tie this on, you can clip it on. Call this one wasteful things that I still do. I wish there was a more eco-friendly alternative to uh, plastic beads because like I make a lot of these type of bracelets for the festivals and these little pearls are little plastic beads and I don't know if there's a company out there that made a more eco-friendly colorful bead when I start to run out I will research more ethical beads but since I have so many I've yet to do that and I'm hoping that by the time I need to there is a eco-friendly alternative. So part of my thoughts on this is like, when you make things yourself, you know it's ethically made because you made it. You would just have to ethically source all the raw material. But when a company makes something, if it's an ethical company, them making it is going to be less wasteful and more ethical than you making that thing because They've standardized means of production to the point where, you know, they're buying things in bulk and making everything as efficient as possible, which efficiency hopefully means lowering waste emissions to a minimum. I cannot get this knot tied. Such a tiny little knot, I just can't get it tied. Hmm, it's gonna be a problem if I can't get this tied. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Okay, well we're just gonna have to hope this one stays because I can't seem to get it double knotted. I'll probably have to dab some glue on all of these knots anyways. It's full for a bracelet. Three pieces done. Lots more to go. Yeah, that looks fine. I don't know why, I think I like the smaller pearls overall better. I just think they look nice. Although I do like the big pearl bracelet. I feel like the small pearls look better on necklaces and the big pearls look better on bracelets. But that's just my opinion. Ooh, I almost put the wrong end. I almost put two clasps and no holes to clasp onto. I mean, that sounds better than two holes and no clasps because the clasps could clasp onto each other. The holes are just holes. Um, this is another necklace. Yeah. Man, some of these holes are not poked all the way through, so I can't even thread them. No! You know that old, that old saying about stepping on Legos? about how much it fucking hurts. Beads are close. Beads are up there as well. And I just dropped beads everywhere. Oops. Oh well, I'll pick them up when we're done here. I tend to be one of those people who will need something or want something and instead of just like buying it in my head, I'm like, I can make that. I can make that. I'm gonna make that. And a lot of times I do end up making it, which is why I DIY so much of my own things. You also last week I make my own makeup. Am I the only, only one whose brain works that way? I feel like my that's how my brain works. It's just like, you don't need to buy that. You can just make it, right? How do I balance this passion for creating with low waste minimalism principles? I don't know. I'm flawed, we're all flawed, we're all flawed humans, right? I don't know how to approach this in a better way. I feel like I am kind of rambling on here. Rambling on and just saying I don't know to a lot of things because I guess I really don't and I did not sit down and do research before this video because I leave for Bonnaroo in a week and I don't have time. I'm calling for costume designers everywhere to demand ethical materials. So, it's the next morning. It actually took me like three hours to get all of this made. Bunch of necklaces in the middle, bunch of clips over here. 
and some bracelets. And one thing I remembered that I wanted to mention in this video is the reason I feel compelled to make my own costumes. I think it started off having to do with the fact that I do Renfest cosplay, I do Renaissance Festival cosplay with a clan and we meet up and we camp and we dress up and all of that, but it's very difficult to find pieces that work with those costumes that are vegan or made with ethical materials. So I've been put in this place where I like the aesthetic of leather, but I won't actually wear leather. I like the aesthetic of the wool cloak, but I won't actually wear wool. So I've taken upon myself to make these pieces out of the non-animal versions of these fabrics with quite a lot of success. And hopefully I can expand that out one day so that other people have the option to wear ethical renaissance clothing. That's one of the reasons I feel the need to make my own costumes so that I can look just as awesome and put together as everyone else, but I can do it ethically or at least more ethically than animal skins and fur. And I know a lot of fashion designers and costume designers use all of their scrap fabric and I still have a bin full of fabric that I don't know what to do with. I guess I'm not as talented as them and I don't exactly know how to use almost all of the little scraps I have. So let me know down in the comments what you can do with scrap fabric because if there's projects and stuff that I can do with it I would love to find the time to actually use up some of this fabric and now I have to rush off to work so I can get home tonight and work on the skirt. I'm gonna try and finish this skirt when I get home tonight, but now I have it all traced out and I can just cut it out. Because I am running late and I need to run off to work again. Thank y'all for watching, thank y'all for listening to my rant. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you can see this skirt when I finish it and my festival outfits in general and my costumes. I am the Vegan Rainbow. Bye y'all.